The United Nations is out with a disturbing new warning. Yeah, according to the UN Climate Office, the world is nowhere near hitting the greenhouse gas emissions targets. Dr. Rob Jackson, climate scientist at Stanford University and chair of Global Carbon Project, joins us now with more on this. Good morning to you, Dr. Jackson. So if you could remind us about the Paris Climate Agreement and what are some of the major takeaways from this new report? Well, first of all, good morning and thanks for having me. The Paris Climate Agreement is an agreement that helps countries set targets to reduce greenhouse gas emissions to keep global climate in a safe space well below two degrees C increases. And the bad news this week is that greenhouse gas emissions are still rising and we're a long way from a safe and stable climate. I think that's partly because the last few years have been chaos, right? First COVID struck and countries turned to dirty or cold to jumpstart their economies. And now we're stuck in an energy crisis caused by an unjust war. Europe's importing more natural gas and struggling to keep the lights and heat on. So, Dr. Jackson, I mean, the world is now no stranger to seeing unprecedented and extreme weather patterns, deadly floods, seemingly endless wildfires and heat waves. So environmentally, what is at stake here if we just continue down this same path? Well, you're absolutely right. We've turbocharged the weather and turned climate into a monster. Right, A few months ago, a third of Pakistan was flooded, what officials there called a monsoon on steroids. And it isn't just halfway around the world. Here in the U.S., we're paying $100 billion more each year for weather disasters than we were just a few decades ago. You and I are paying for this. All right, some good points there. Dr. Jackson, thanks so much for your time this morning. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.